Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is actually gonna be a kind of more of a review. I mentioned in my last video that I wanted to wash my car, but it was raining the past couple days, so I finally got some time. It's the perfect weather right now. It's not too hot, the car's in the shade, it hasn't been driven, so it's cool. So I won't have to worry about putting it on the hot on the hot car. The main reason that I'm making this video is not just because I wanna make a video of me washing my car, but because I also have this stuff. This is the Meguiar Ceramic Wax. I see a lot of people using it and I wanted to do my own personal review on it. So the first thing it says is that I have to wash my car like I normally would. So I'm gonna set up my tripod, get the car going, and then I'm gonna do my foundation layer. So the foundation layer says that you have to wash your car. Once you have it all rinsed off with all the soap gone, then you have to do spray it on there and wipe it off. Once you wipe it off, then after that's gone, that's your foundation layer, that's when you start doing it every time you wash your car. So after that, you wash your car like you normally would, spray it on, and rinse it off. So the first one's the, little, the one that takes a little bit longer just because you have to wipe it off, but after that, it should be simple. Not only that, but it also gives it that ceramic effect on the car. Just to do a quick walk around of the car. The other day I did take it through one of those touch-free car washes and like probably the next day after it started raining, so uh, it wasn't the best idea. It's pretty filthy as of right now, but I wanna make sure that it looks really good and I hope that this stuff, especially with it being a white car, will keep a lot of the dirt off. So as you guys can see, right now the water just kinda of stays there. It doesn't drip off like a ceramic coating would. Of course I have nothing on there right now, but the paint is fairly new. I've only had the car for about like two months at this point. So hopefully once I get rid of all the contaminants by washing it and I spray it on, we'll do a little water test and see if it really does what the bottle says it will. Okay guys, so I went ahead and did the whole car, got it all rinsed off, and it says to leave it wet. I even did the rims as well, because you can spray it on your rims too. So what I'm gonna do is just spray it all over the car, and it says that for the first one, you're not gonna rinse it off. What you're actually gonna do is just dry it like, like you would after your normal car wash. And then the, the, the every step after that, or every time you wash your car after that, all you have to do is spray it and rinse it off. So I just spread it across the whole car, did the roof, did the spoiler, did the rims, did the tail lights, pretty much did the whole car itself. And I gotta tell you guys, not only does this stuff look really cool, because it's a blue, but it smells like straight up blueberries. Like, if my car could smell like this all the time, that would be awesome. So now that I have it all over, I don't wanna leave it on for too long. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some microfibers, because it says all you have to do is wipe it down. And once I wipe off the whole product, then we're gonna see exactly just how the water reacts compared to uncoated to coated. So I went ahead and wiped it all off, but I'm kind of thinking that I put a little too much product and it's a little bit streaky, but I think it should still work the same way. What I'll do is you have to do another layer if you want it to be even more hydrophobic. So I'm just gonna leave it as is, spray some water on it, show you guys on camera and just see the difference. 
And if it really works out, then what I'll do is I'll do the other layer and that should get rid of all the streakiness that's in there right now. Okay guys, so I've got some water here. Let's see. So I'm noticing the water is dripping a lot quicker. See how it just comes off like that? So this is just the first foundation over here. So they said that this one won't be as much, but see, it is already working. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is rinse it off one more time, spread water, just make sure I get rid of the old product, the streakiness, and then spray it on one more time, clean it off, and we should be good to go. After cleaning it, spraying it, wiping it off, and then I went ahead and rinsed it again, sprayed the stuff on there. It already has its second layer. The paint, how it actually feels, is amazing. It's off like, it feels like butter right now. <laughs> and just to say it again, the car smells really, really good on the outside, which is a first for me, because I've never seen a product that actually leaves your car smelling good on the outside. I went ahead and grabbed a little bit more water, so. Let's try it one more time. This is after the second coat of it. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can definitely tell the difference. So according to what a lot of people have been saying about this product online is that once you have it on there, it keeps your car clean for weeks. Some people you see even say months, but I'm gonna go ahead and prove this theory. Obviously I'm not gonna wait to post this video for like a whole month or even a couple months down the road. But as I go on, I'll remember to post in a later video to remind myself the next time I clean it to see just how different it is and how long it actually took me before I had to wipe it down. To have my final conclusion on the product itself, I think it's really good even if it's not as crazy as a ceramic coating because obviously that's two different things. It does give you the properties without having you to spend all that money. And if you want to just do it yourself, it's a really good day project to see how different your paint feels afterwards. I would definitely buy the product again. I really like how it makes the paint feel and look super clean. But just to end it all off, I'm also gonna spray some of it with this Meguiar's Quick Detailer. And this is just to pretty much just do a little bit extra and make sure that that paint feels even softer than it already does. Until the next video guys, thank you guys for watching.